Right now I'm in Orchards, Washington. We've actually been here before. And today I'm actually taking the uh, Mill Plain Bus Rapid Transit line. But to do that, I need to get to the Mill Plain Transit Center. So I'm waiting for a bus coming that way. It's late afternoon, it's after five o'clock. Bus comes once every half hour and it should be here every any minute now. So you can see that bus coming. And uh, that bus runs from Vancouver Mall Transit Center to Mill Plain Transit Center, goes every half an hour. And the area it goes through is uh, not really ideal for transit. As you see, can see, we've been going for a while and we're almost to our destination, which is where we're gonna start our real trip. And I put this all here for a reason though. I just got off of that bus, which has changed its number to 92. This is uh, the Mill Plain Transit Center and more on that in a minute. So right now with the Mill Plain Transit Center, which is far out and I started out far out in orchards and I went about five miles east, a couple miles south. Um, and if I was to go south from here across the Columbia River in Oregon, I'd be in Troutdale, east of Portland, more or less. And you can see this area is still being developed. A lot of stuff is being built here. And on the way you saw the density and the character of like the retail, the residential. And my point here is to ride a BRT line that terminates here back to downtown. So let's go see what that is. And even though I'm from this area and have been here a lot, this is all new to me. And even this, everything around here, look at all these buildings. This is pretty new. So I'm going to run to get on the bus here. Busception. Nice shelters. Everything's nice. Nice benches. Um, no restrooms. No drinking fountain. But otherwise, very big transit center. A lot like 99th Street. One thing to notice here while we're at the crosswalk or at the intersection, as far as I know, the vines don't have signal priority, or at least I haven't noticed it being a thing, them moving faster. I move, notice them stopping a lot. Could be confirmation bias, but I don't think they have signal priority. So there was two people riding the bus, but as you can now see, I am the only person on the bus. But to put that in context, we're still towards the part of its run where it's like not really uh, optimal for transit use. And as we get closer to town, we'll find out. Well, there we go, right there. facilities in Vancouver and uh, presumably at least sometimes an important transit stop but not today it looks like just got off of that red line it's called we have a path here we also have a very nice station um, the reason I did that is because 
I want to show some more of the neighborhood and also I want to stretch my feet. Might think about food and restroom too. Um, so a lot of times when I talk about BRT, there's three things that um, characterize the BRT. Maybe a little bit more. One is lane separation. One is signal priority. And one is uh, boarding from both sides. And uh, the Vancouver BRT has none of those. Um, and I've one of the reasons why I was taking this is because uh, I knew that the fourth plane line didn't, but I thought maybe the mill plane line had different equipment or a different layout. Uh, so really, you know, not to be too harsh, but it's more like a articulated bus than a BRT line. And then the other thing that's, well, the one thing it does have is it does have uh, separate boarding um, and level boarding so you can get on and off in a hurry. And the other thing that's obviously, you know, BRT works, you know, BRT was founded in very dense places. What you've seen so far, this is not really terrain that's suitable for a BRT line uh, because the density isn't there, uh, either residential or commercial. Clark County, the county that Vancouver in it is in, has a population of 500,000 people, uh, most of which are in this inner area. Most of the people live where the people live. And so it's, even though it's stereotyped as a single thing, there's actually pretty big differences in land use, demographics, um, income, that type of thing. And where I am now, this is like closer in. So um, one of the things is that different parts of the county need different types of transit. And of course, uh, kind of, uh, I think maybe the compromise ended up satisfying nobody. And I'm not trying to criticize the neighborhood or anything like that. This neighborhood is like the type of neighborhood I grew up in, and in fact, pretty much is. Um, I lived pretty close to here, maybe a mile or two from here at different times in my childhood, and I've spent a lot of time here, you know, as a kid and as a teenager. Um, so neighborhoods like this, I, I like these neighborhoods. But from a transit standpoint, this is not really ideal for transit. It's also really not ideal for non-transit because as you saw, especially further east out, there was some times where we were really stuck at red lights. Uh, so having trouble dealing with that growth and, uh, you know, congestion. But, you know, the transit options are still being developed. And there was a few more people on that BRT line, but not really what I'd call for rapid transit, like about, you know, what would be normal for a bus. Anyway, so these are all debates and discussions you can read about everywhere. Um, I more wanted to show what the line actually looks like, so I will be walking to the next station, and then I'll be showing a little bit about what the platform looks like, and then moving on. So you can see, station, which is pretty new, is uh, has everything you need. Garbage can, a bench. We yeah, do have flat screens, so that's good. Notice that schedule. Five minutes, 20 minutes, 22 minutes. That makes me think the schedule's gotten snarled up at some point. Um, so attractive, nice places to wait. Um, nothing specifically to write home about. Uh, but a good place to board does make BRT easier. But as you can see, I'm the only person here right now. Uh, also, it is a little bit after rush hour, but still pretty, pretty early in the evening, late in the afternoon. So it should still be a bit more busy, I would think. And the uh, vine has been more busy. The fourth plane vine has been more busy. Mill plane is perhaps not quite as ideal for transit. Also, all fares are paid either through a machine that gives tickets if you need to. Um, but most people at this point have moved to using the contactless card, which is interoperable with uh, TriMet and the Portland streetcar. So that part does make it easier to board. And we have three minutes to wait. station when it was under construction so we're getting close to the other terminal so i wasn't actually sure about that and i just found out this has the same terminal point as the fourth plane line and i sometimes that might get crowded 
Um, and so we're in downtown Vancouver, and I was originally planning to get off earlier, but I was like, well, as long as I'm here, might as well close it out. Anyway, so there's a big old socio-political, demographic, geographic, engineering, uh, technical, blah, blah, pop policy, brouhaha about BRT versus light rail, ties in with the bridge, um, the politics and sociology of Clark County, blah, blah, blah. And I'm sure you can all go and research that. What I want to do is I want to show it firsthand, and you can also compare it to other um you know, BRT lines, Spokane, Eugene, Portland, um, the other one here. I have videos about those all, and it kind of shows different facets. Um, my grade right now, or my judgment right now, um, still trying to find utility. There was a couple more people on another one, um, but I don't know. Well, it speaks for itself. Anyway, there will be more videos soon.